Hi and welcome to this Sport in the Box tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at the template editor in Sport in the Box um, that you can use to create your own basic templates. Um, it's not possible to use it for advanced animations back and forth, but to make a basic scoreboard or um, to get the score as an overlay into something like a banner or whatever it might be, it's quite easy. I'm also going to show you how to for an example, show some text messages out to your board, say that you want to show the lottery ticket or something like that. Um, so I'm going to go and show you that. So let's uh, move into Sport in a Box. Uh, I'm working from the basic football demo database here. So it's just a standard database for soccer. I haven't added anything else than some templates. Um, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go straight to settings and templates. We can see we have our standard template and scoreboard here. Uh, and now we want to create our own basic scoreboard. So let's push here create new graphics. We name it uh, scoreboard. We go into Sega Editor. Before we go into Sega Editor, if you have multiple screen controllers, please make sure to select the right one because that's controlling the resolution of my template, of what uh, resolution I'm basing it on. So in this case, it's a 720p because I only have one screen controller in my output. Uh, after that, let's push Sega Editor and that will open up our editor window. So we can see here we have just a transparent background. Um, and we want to create a scoreboard. So first of all, let's push here I have a text to add the scoreboard details. Um, the first and most basic thing of what we want to do is to add a clock. So we're going to just write it as a clock. It's a bit easier to control. This is very small. I want to increase the size. So I can either drag it and you can see I can move it around to place it where I want. I can also go, if I go to item tab here, I can, of course, with pixels, select exact position and size. Um, but for now, that might be enough like that. The second part is to tell the system that this is actually uh, game data coming here. So I'm going to go to the text tab, activate dynamic data, and select here to tell it that this is result data and it's time that's going to come on this field. So now we have our time here. This is our game clock. Uh, let's add home and guest team, maybe. Uh, we get a new field here. Let's increase that size a little bit. Go to text here, dynamic data, and in this case, home team name. Perfect. Let's create a new one. And have that as guest team. Okay, so now I have my game clock. I'm home, guest team. So the last thing, maybe add some scores. This might be a weird looking scoreboard, but yeah. So home team, and we have score here somewhere. I, oh, sorry, it was here, home score, my bad. So home score, that's uh, the last field for... Of 
course, if I would do this for real, I would probably only use uh, the coordinates instead to make sure that everything looks and are placed where I want. And guest score. So I have time, home team name, guest team name, home score, guest score. So everything what I want for a basic scoreboard. I can, of course, add in the background an image or a video clip, a loop, or whatever it might be. But in this case, I'm thinking that I want it with transparency. So let's uh, run it like this to see how it looks. So we have our scoreboard here. You can see our example. So let's close that. Uh, and then we can select here from the scoreboard button what the scoreboard should do. So let's see here on layer one, trigger show template and select our scoreboard that we now made. So it takes results and everything. The, the last thing of what we have done, if we start the game clock here now for an example, we can directly see that the game clock is not moving. It will update every time I push here, right? Uh, the reason for that is that we forgot one important step. So let's go into settings again. We can check templates here and we have result data. This has to be turned on because that tells the system that it continuously sends in data. So after doing this, let's stop it and start it again and try it out. So now we can see that the data is continuously adding. If I'm adding home score or away score, it's all updated. And I can, of course, in the background, if I want to play some video clip, you can see that it's placed in the background. Or it could be a live feed or whatever it might be. Um, maybe we would like to have some dynamic data, like say, we want to do the lottery ticket, which is a common common thing, at least here. Uh, let's go back to templates and create a lottery ticket template. We can name it lottery ticket. It will also be based on our main screen controller. So now here we add a new text field Let's uh, think that this is going to be something in the bottom right. We can have it here. We can have it stretch over the whole part. Um, we can maybe here have it moving. Let's uh, have it scrolling like this. Um, or maybe scroll in the other way. It's nicer when it scrolls from right to left. Uh, then we select also dynamic data. But in this case, we're not going to change anything here. We just have it as text. We're not going to have automatic data coming from the system because I want to type this in, right? So let's close it here. It will then save it. We can preview it here. Um, we don't need it as result data because it's not continuously updating. Uh, and now the last part is to add it into the playlist here. So add graphics or templates. Going to add our lottery ticket information. So if I'm playing this now, it's just going to show the sample data coming. Let's uh, try it out. We see directly it comes with sample data here, right? Um, what I normally want to do is I want to go in here and say lottery winner and then maybe add a number or something like that. We can stop it and play it again. And we can see now it's updated the data. So in between each game, the only thing I need to do to update it will be to push the pen, go into the text here, and edit whatever I would like to edit, right? And that will show it out. And of course, if I'm playing something in the background or in front, it will be played with transparency. Yeah, that was uh, all for today. Thank you for watching.